Okay, welcome everybody. Um, like we're in breakout room number two. Yes, can you hear me? Excellent, okay. Um, my name is Tama Taxer and I'm really glad to be here tonight to talk about a very, um, a minor character in the Megillah whose decisions could have changed history, but she chose not to um, do that which she could have done. And I'm talking about Zeresh. Um, she is the third woman in the Megillah who plays really a minor role, but we have so much to learn from her. Or as I tell my children, there are people you learn from and people you learn from not to do. And she's one that we learn from what not to do. Um, I wanna begin by saying that um, uh, much of the information that I'm speaking about tonight, um, I heard on a shir by Rabbi Asher Chaim Levine. So Zeresh plays a supporting role in the Megillah and she's mentioned only three times, only three times. We should set the stage. Haman was invited to a fabulous party with the king, the queen, and him, an intimate setting with food and drink and good company, and he was on top of the world. He was coming home feeling so happy with himself, and he came upon Mordechai, and the anger filled his body. He couldn't think about anything else. He was so infuriated and he came home and he called his advisors and he called his wife Zeresh. And so we see Zeresh for the first time in Perek, Hey, Pasuk Yud. And the Pasuk states, Haman Haman restrained himself and went home. He sent for his friends and his wife Zeresh. We see Zeresh once again when Hama is asking, what should we do with the Mordechai problem? I need to take care of Mordechai. I need to get rid of him, but it's it pas nish. I'm a minister. I can't, I can't show the, the world that I'm just going to, to hurt him on the street. We have to do something big. So what does Zeresh say? lo Zeresh ishto v'kol yasu chamishim ama. We're going to take a gallow and hang him high. And this is Zeresh's advice to her husband, to Haman. It's really interesting that every time Zeresh's name is mentioned, it's Zeresh Ishto, Zeresh his wife. S meaning that this was her role in the world to be Haman's wife. This was her job to guide him, to steer him so that he could be the best he could be. And obviously she failed miserably. Um, at first she looks like a very supportive wife. Even though we, our mindset is not that this was not a good thing, but in their mind, this was a very important mission and goal to get rid of Mordechai. And therefore, um, she, was, she had some great ideas. It looks like she was supporting him, but we'll see that she did not fulfill her mission. She did not do her job as it, as it was supposed to be done. Medrash Rabbah and Esther Rabbah says that Haman had 365 um, advisors and friends who came that night to give him advice of how to attend to this problem. And Zeresh was wiser than all of them. She was a very, very wise woman. Um, and she said, I have the idea for you. This is what you need to do. Mordechai is from the Jews. And the Jews have nisim, have miracles happen to them at all times. We have to find a way in order that we can kill him, that he will not be saved. So people were shouting out different methods to do throw him into a furnace, into a fire. Zeresh said, no, we can't. Nimrod threw Abraham into the furnace, he lived. And um, Nebuchadnezzar threw Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah into a fire, they lived. Um, someone said, how about with a sword? We can't do that. Yitzchak survived the Akedah. And Moshe Ravina survived, I'm, I'm sorry, Paro, when he had his, um, when he was going to kill him with the sword. What about um, having mauled by animals. Daniel was saved from the um, lion's den. Throw him into a pit, throw him into a dungeon, throw away the key. Like, we can't do that. Yosef at Sadiq was thrown into a dungeon and became viceroy of Mitzrayim. We had to think of another idea. Zerah said, you know what? No one from the Jews ever survived hanging or no one was hanged so they couldn't have survived. Let's hang them right now. Now there is a pasuk in Mishlei that um, explains the undermining thoughts of Zeresh perfectly. 
In Mishlei, Perak Yudalid, Pasuk Aleph, it states, Chachmas Nashim Bansa Besa, the wise among the women builds her house, the Velis Biyadeha Tehas Renu, and the foolish one tears it down with her own hands. Now there, when Rashi explains, who is, who is a, one of the um, Nashim with Chachma? The wife of Om Ben Peles. She saw her husband was gonna join the rebellion of Korach. And so she spoke to him for his sake. She said, Own Ben Peles, you have nothing to gain. If you join with Korach and he wins, Korach's on top and you're still who you are. If Moshe Rabbeinu wins, then you will be, are doomed to destruction. And she saved her home and she saved Om Ben Peles' life. Miriam Hanavia, although she wasn't the wife in the situation, had Chachma as well. And she said to her father, you're worse than Paro. Paro wanted to kill the boys. You want to kill the boys and the girls. Amram was stunned and said, you're right. He had divorced his wife, Yocheved. He remarried her and they had Moshe Rabbeinu. There's a story of, of um, Rabbi Lazar ben Azaria that he was asked to be the head of the Sanhedrin. And the Chacham Narabanim said, you will be great for the job. You will help the Jewish people. You are our man. We need you. And he said, before I take this job, I need to talk to my wife. Why? Because his wife had his interest at heart. The Chacham and Rabbanim knew what they needed for Kla Yisrael. His wife knew what he needed. So he had to talk to her. Esther was one of the women of Chachma as well. Esther listened because when Mordechai took Esther, she lost her mother and her father. Mordechai came back, took her in, Labas, as a daughter. But the, the rabbis teach us that it was not Labas, but rather Labias as a wife. Mordechai and Esther were married. And Mordechai and Esther um, discussed many, many concepts with each other while she was in the palace. He told her, don't say where you come from. He told her, you have to go into the king now. She said, I can't, I haven't been called, he'll kill me. He said, this is why you're, you're queen. We don't know what's gonna happen, you have to do it now. But it came a time where Esther said, um, go take, get all the Jews, gather them together, fast for me, daven for me, because I'm going in, three days. It was Pesach <clears throat> and, and Mordechai said, we can't, we have to eat matzah and mara, we, we have to do Pesach. And Esther said, if you do not fast for me this Pesach, there will be no more Pesachs to fast because we'll all be dead because the Gzeira is going to kill us all. And so Mordechai listened to her and got all the Jews to fast. She had Chachma, she understood how to save the Jewish people. The foolish woman destroys her house. Rashi tells us this was the wife of Korach. She riled up her husband and said, you're right, Moshe and, and Aaron, they're no better than you. Why should they have all the leadership positions? You're just as good as they are. And she riled him up with a mob mentality. But this pasuk, the rabbis tell us, the tell us, also refers to Zeresh because Zeresh literally destroyed her home. Her name, Zerash. This one has made me poor because not only did she make Haman, well, Haman died, but the house literally poor. They lost everything. The connection to anything was gone. Her whole home, their whole legacy finished because she didn't understand how to help her husband. When Adam and Chava were created, when Adam was created, Hashem said, you need an Azer Konegdo. You need a helpmate, one who will help you, who will be against you as well. Chazal tell us, Azer, if you're Zoha, if you're, if you're worthy, Konegdo, if you're not. But I also say that you need an Azer for when you, to support you, and connecto when you have ideas that are not proper, right, to put you in the right direction. Zeresh literally destroyed her home. She literally destroyed her physical house. How so? Haman and Zeresh had a son who was a minister of a province. And in that province was Har Ararat, the, the mountain where the Teva rested after the flood. And their son gifted to them a 50 ama beam from the Teva. And they used it as a foundational support of their mansion. Zeresh said, take it from our home. Literally destroy the edifice, destroy our house. I don't care. Yank it out, put it up, 
by the palace so that everyone can see Mordechai hanging on this, the gallows. Her house was lit literally destroyed. She also, at the time, not only, not only were they destroying her house, she was playing music and she paid the, the, the workers very handsomely for their time. And she and her friends were entertaining them because this was such a joyous moment for them. She didn't understand that a home is a place where husband needs to be grounded, to be able to think, to be able to get advice and so that he can live his best life. When a chasen and kala are under the chuppah and the wife walks around, or kala walks around the chasen seven times, she's in essence building a wall, building a fortress, an oasis that belongs to them where they can escape from the chaos of the outside world to come in and to be able to think clearly of how they wanna live their lives. And Zeresh did not have any part of that and she destroyed her husband. As we said earlier, there were 365 um, advisors and that 365 is Keneged, the Sa'ah Gideha, the 365 sinews of the body that hold the limb, the hold the organs in their place. And that's what a wife is to be doing. She'd be holding the husband in place so that things don't slide from side to side. It gives stability. It gives support. In the, the Gemara, it asks the question, where's Haman found in the Torah? May I in Haman, Haman in, in the Torah? And the answer is, Hamin ha'etz hazeh, the play on the words, Haman, Hamin ha'etz hazeh, referring to the Eitz hadas. The, the tree of knowledge where Adam and Chava ate from, and that was the first chet, the chet of Adam Harishon. And it's interesting that Haman is referenced with the eight hadas, where Chava, the first wife, encouraged her husband not to follow the ways of Hashem and was punished dearly for that. Um, before the chet of the eight hadas, Hashem created man and said, you will be blessed. There'll be bracha and you should prove and, and, and populate the world. Hashem was sending his, his, his blessings and showering the world with everything that he wanted to give without any blockage that would flow um, smoothly and clearly. After the um, chait of the Eitz Hadas, um, Klawa came to the world. It was the curse of death the curse of the Nachash, he lost his legs, the curse of Chava to have pains during childbirth, and of Adam that he'd have to sweat to, um, make, to, to make a living um, because the bracha of Hashem was not coming down so clearly anymore because the, the will of Hashem was not followed as it should have been. It's interesting that at the end of the, of, after we read the Megillah, we say Shoshana Yaakov. And in the Shoshana Yaakov, we say, Baruch Mordechai, well, our Haman, Baruch Mordechai. Cursed is Haman, blessed is Mordechai. Arura Zeresh, cursed is Zeresh, Rucha Esther. Esther is blessed. So they, they, are, um, they are opposed to one, each, one another, Mordechai to Haman and Esther to Zeresh, because the lessons that we learn are so diametrically opposed. Haman and Zeresh, their union was one where they were following evil. They didn't care about the good of one another, but rather how they could each benefit and, and together work towards a goal that would not help them for a future. They didn't look, at, look for, for their head in the future. Mordechai and Esther worked together as a married couple for the benefit of the Jewish people using the Chachma using the um, Ratzon Hashem in order to help Kla Yisrael. And therefore the bracha flows through them and the klalas flow through um, Haman and Zeresh, Hamin Ha'etz Hazeh. So as we said earlier, Zeresh, she caused poverty, she caused destruction. And we learn from Zeresh how, how a woman can take her husband very much off track without seeing the ultimate goal of making, helping him become the best he can be and not, not feeding into his insecurities and, um, and his taivas and his, and his evil 